get acquainted more with the Lord today. You know, every one of us could actually enhance our relationship with our Heavenly Father. Look what Job, the 22nd chapter, says in the 21st verse. Acquaint now thyself with Him, or with God, and be at peace. Thereby good shall come unto thee. Glory be to God. You know, the Lord God desire our acquaintance. You know, He's already acquainted with everything that we have gone through and everything that we will go through in our lives. But He has acquainted Himself with us through His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And what He desires now is for you and I to acquaint ourselves with Him, with His ways, with His purpose, with His intentions for your life. For the Word of God says that He has plans for us to bless us, to bring us through, to bring us to the other side. And dearly beloved, I believe that we need to acquaint ourselves each and every day, more so than we did the day before. And acquainting ourselves with Him is just coming to a knowledge of His will and His purpose for our lives. Not for everybody else, because many times we get a word from God. Or we get a message from our Heavenly Father. And sometimes we believe it's for others. And many times, dearly beloved, it is for us, ourselves. That we might become more acquainted with Him. But when we allow the world to be the one that dictates our actions or dictate how we respond to everything around us, then it put us in position where we are no longer acquainting ourselves with our Heavenly Father. Because He is the one who keeps us. He is the one who blesses us. Now look what the Word says. Thereby good shall come unto thee. If we acquaint ourselves with God, nothing but good can come in our lives. Yes, that's what I say. Nothing but good. Even things that seem like it's out of order. The Lord God will then use those things in order to get us into a place where we are humble before Him. So dearly beloved, don't kick against a prick as Jesus Christ told Paul, but rather acknowledge our Heavenly Father and acquaint yourself with Him each and every day. Use this day. To acquaint yourself with Him. Maybe at 12 o'clock when you're not doing anything for lunch. Take a minute or two. And step away from the crowd. Even if it means going into the bathroom or going into some other private place. Acquaint yourself with the Heavenly Father in that time. In that minute that you might uh, have a different relationship with Him. And I tell you what, dearly beloved, you will be a better person because of it. Because you have chosen to acquaint yourself with Him. God bless you today.